I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's dye time I'm going to be dyeing some cotton socks. Uh, I'm going to be hand painting them. So I'm going, first thing I'm going to do is make up the dyes. Now this colour I'm using now is Lime Pop. I love this colour so much. Let's have a look. Uh, oh that's a beautiful colour. I'm wondering, do I need, might need a little bit more liquid. Not too much because I'm only making, I'm only going to be dyeing one pair of socks. I've probably used too much now. Let's have a look at that colour. There. That is gorgeous. I love that. So I'm going to now transfer this to an old tie-dye uh, bottle. And I am pretty sure that is too much dye. I'm sure I can use it for something else afterwards. The second colour I'm going to use today is turquoise. I love these colours. I've just rinsed out my I've rin rinsed out my jug and I've got a new spoon. All the equipment I'm using today is dedicated for dyeing. I don't use it for food. And I've got my mask on at the moment. I've got my gloves on and my surface is protected with this old towel. Oh, that's a beautiful blue. Happy with that. I've been dyeing a few projects today and you can see I've already spilt some dye. So add this to my next. There we go. These are the socks I'm using today. They're 68% cotton, 29% nylon and 3% elastane. I've dyed these socks a few times. <laughs> There's a little bit of dye on there already, that's not a problem. I'm going to start off with lime pop. I've just put this in one of my dyeing trays and I've put cling film on it just because I don't want the colours to spread too much. I just want to try and protect it all a little bit. Give that a little bit of a massage through, see if that works. This is what I've done before. Ah. So I'm going to just do this in a bit of a stripe pattern. Hopefully uh, I've got enough dye here. Hopefully I haven't gone too con conservative with it and not have enough. We'll see. I can always add more dye. So I'm going to flip these over and dye the other side. These have been soaking in soda ash and water for probably about a day now. Uh, I don't, don't need to have them soaking that long. I just was getting everything prepared yesterday so that I could just start dyeing when today. There we go, that's all of the lime pop. And I'm going in with turquoise now. See that lime pop? Um, it breaks and you can see it's got a bit of a yellow halo there, which I think looks great. Now this turquoise is a primary, so it won't break because uh, it's only made with one oh, dye molecule. <laughs> Maybe I did not make enough dye. This one seems to be a lot, uh, they seem to have as good control over this one as they did the lime pop. That's a lot more drippy. That's probably just me, nothing to do with the dye whatsoever. All right, I'm gonna flip them and do the turquoise dye on the other side. Let's give them a little bit of a massage through. Hopefully that's enough dye to really dye these socks. I love this colour combination. My daughter chose these, so these for her socks. She doesn't normally go for greens and blues, so this is, this is really nice to see. I really like these. I wonder if I should do myself something like this. But for now, because these are cotton, they don't need heat to set so much as they need time. So I'm just going to wrap these up in the cling film so that they stay nice and damp. 
I'm not going to squidge them. I'm just going to carefully roll them up. They look, they look good on the other side as well, which I'm happy about. And hopefully, I'm going to leave these now for a couple of days. And hopefully in two days time, we'll have some really pretty socks ready for washing. It's been about a week now, so good. So they've had a good sit in the dye. Let's give these socks a wash. That is a lot of color coming out, but I'm not worried. This, that is what happens with clothes tie dyeing. Oh, that is a gorgeous color though. Maybe I should mix these colors together more often. That is a really nice neonish green. Yeah, I think I should mix these colors together because that is a gorgeous color. Let's see what color mixing I can do. But how cool are these socks? I definitely think I want to dye myself a pair of socks like this because these are amazing. This is just cold water with a little bit of washing up liquid in. And already this, the water is getting lighter, but I'm not going to stand here all day hand washing these. I'm going to go put these in the washing machine with some other tie dye clothes and some towels, things I don't mind the colour transferring onto. And here are the finished socks. Now, my daughter absolutely loves these. My son loves these and he wishes that he'd asked me to dye these colours. I really like these. So I'm now going to have to go out and buy myself some more white socks and my son some more white socks so we can all have a pair of socks that look like this. Now this is what I really love about Lime Pop. That colour when it is in solution and it's uh, quite concentrated, that colour is beautiful. And I really liked the uh, colour runoff from these when I was washing the socks. So I'm now quite tempted to do a colour colour mixing experiment to see um, uh, if I can make that colour again because it was a gorgeous sort of emerald jewel green which was quite different from the new emerald new emerald green dye that I already have. What do you think of these socks? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed making it. I uh, Leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought of these socks. I publish a new video every Monday, usually around about 6pm UK time. So make sure you are subscribed and got notifications turned on so you never miss any new videos. Thank you so much for watching.